New Arizona Cardinal news has arrived with a new head coach possibility and breaking news coming out of the Arizona Cardinals camp. Let's dive right into it. All right, welcome back in. Now, before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We're on the road to 12K. Follow me on all my social platforms. Everything will be in the description of this video. All right, let's go and dive right into it. We got two pieces of news to go ahead and cover on this video. The first one is the Arizona Cardinals have a new name arising out of nowhere here. Now, I do know that there is some subscribers of this channel that actually wanted to bring Dan Quinn in. Now, there was a recent report coming out saying that the Arizona Cardinals did reach out to Dan Quinn for an interview. Now, as of right now, nothing's been scheduled, but this is what the report says. The Cardinals requested an interview with Cowboys defensive coordinator Dan Quinn for their head coaching job per source. No interview is scheduled with the Cardinals as of right now. Quinn interviewed virtually Friday with the Colts and in person with the Broncos who have him high on their list. So honestly, when you're looking at Dan Quinn, you see a defensive coordinator, but you also see a person that has had head coaching experience, right? The most recent head coaching experience that I can remember is that when he was with the Atlanta Falcons. Now he was with them for a total of five years from 2015 to 2020. Now, after that, it seems like he mainly spent his time on the defensive side of the ball, but he's been through many different teams with the San Francisco 49ers, the Miami Dolphins, the Seattle Seahawks, the New York Jets, and now most recently, recently the Dallas Cowboys. Now his team is currently in the playoffs right now. He is the defensive coordinator at the Dallas Cowboys and it seems like there has been multiple teams reaching out to Dan Quinn for a possibility of becoming their next head coach. Now when I'm thinking about Dan Quinn I think a lot of people think of that whole disaster that ended up happening in the Super Bowl right. Atlanta Falcons versus the New England Patriots kind of one of the biggest I guess choke jobs, you know, that we've seen in a very long time. Now, that's kind of what I remember, but I also do know Seattle Seahawks fans that really do like Dan Quinn. Now, I know that Dallas Cowboys kind of feel the exact same way as well, pertaining to him being their current defensive coordinator. So, this is an intriguing, very intriguing opportunity here for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the trend is continuing, as you already know, that we're continuing to bring in defensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, but I think this is the approach that the Arizona Cardinals are actually taking. I think this is the approach of the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, Dan Quinn is a defensive-minded head coach, but I think what they're really looking out for is somebody that has leadership skills, somebody that's going to be able to bring brand new culture into this locker room. And if that is Dan Quinn, then hey, I'm game for it. But regardless of what the Arizona Cardinals do, bringing in an offensive mind or a defensive mind in terms of a head coach, I think it's all obvious that we still want a defensive coordinator and an offensive coordinator to support that head coach. Let's dive into the breaking news here from the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this report ended up coming out here from Ian Rappaport, and this is what the report says. The Cardinals are hiring Lions Director of College Scouting Dave Sears as the Assistant General Manager under new General Manager Monty Osenfort, source to say a bit of a surprise given two strong in-house candidates who interviewed for the job Adrian Wilson and Quentin Harris now this is actually big news right because at one point, Adrian Wilson and Quentin Harris were the co-GMs and were said to believe that they had interviews to get the GM job. Now, we all know that the new GM is Monty Osenfort, but I thought that Adrian Wilson or Quentin Harris might be able to be the assistant GM, but it seems like the Arizona Cardinals went a completely different route, which honestly, I don't, I'm not mad at it right now. Uh, to me, Quint Harris, I don't think there's very much attachment as an Arizona Cardinal fan, but Adrian Wilson is a completely different story, right? We have an attachment with Adrian Wilson. There's some fans out there that wanted him to be, you know, moving up, right? Leveling up within the Cardinals organization. Now he is a part of the ring of honor of the Arizona Cardinals. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been a long-term Arizona Cardinal fan, you know that Adrian Wilson was a big focal point in our defense at one point. It was a safety back there that was a really, really hard-nosed, hard hitter, and you know, it seemed to be a really good leader of the team. So it's really unfortunate that Adrian Wilson didn't get the opportunity to become an assistant GM for Monty Ozenfort, but this really just kind of goes to show you that it seems like the Arizona Cardinals are cleaning house, right? Doing everything they can to bring new leadership, to bring a new vision, to bring a new everything, which honestly, I would have to give credit to Michael Bidwell because I think one thing that we've been saying a long time is that he just doesn't like moving 
outside, right? You know, kind of, you know, he likes to bring everything internally. So this is a kind of a step in the right direction for Michael Bidwell. Um, I will definitely have to give kudos to where kudos is due. And right now it seems like we're trying to bring brand new leadership, uh, you know, new eyes, new scouts, new everything. Now, honestly, being that Dave Sears has come from the Lions, I've liked a lot of their draft picks. And honestly, when we were doing a lot of the mock drafts, they were getting a lot of the people that I wanted in my mock draft. So honestly, I'm really excited to see what Dave Sears is going to do. Now, I think the end-all, be-all decision is going to be Monty Osen for it, but it is good to have somebody in your ear that's able to recognize talent, that's able to pick out those gems, you know, in the later rounds of the draft. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you guys are feeling about all this news that ended up dropping this morning. Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so very much for tuning in. As always, go